what is up guys welcome to the show are we doing very well this is going to be a paw ecosystem update we'll kick monday off with that we'll get into a lot of details when it comes to that screenshot we got of the actual block explorer we're going to talk about what that really means and what we're actually looking at we're going to discuss some fud too because i think it's relevant not a long discussion about it but we'll get into that just briefly let's go Yes, yes, welcome to another week in crypto, guys. How you doing? Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, as you already know, we have a paw chain coming up this year, guys, later this year. They are working on that alpha. That alpha situation is live. We'll get into that snapshot as well. We're going to discuss some FUD, though, initially. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way before we get into some updates. Now, let's look at this chart, guys. I want you to look at this chart. Now, currently, the actual liquidity sits just below a million dollars. We're sitting at 509 thousand dollars with total liquidity it is a lot guys uh we're coming up on that actual interval and i'm pretty sure they're going to relock the situation again because this is not a rug and we're going to discuss this because i've seen a lot of tweets i've seen a lot of cmc posts over a couple of days and it's very confusing to me and i understand whoever's posting all that you have your agenda and i'm not going to say any names or anything like that i just want to address this just a bit because if you're claiming that this is a rug pull you haven't been paying attention to what's been going on because I've seen a lot of FUD lately and it just doesn't make sense to me. And I think a lot of it is coming on a personal level because of what these particular people may have been offended. So they're kind of using the chart to throw back at the project and to kind of like throw shade on the actual party ecosystem. Listen, I get it. If you're angry, you're going to pull ammunition for where you can pull it. If it's at arm's length, you're going to use it. And this chart, I could show you a lot of charts that look just like this, that are attached to legitimate projects with development teams that are large and small that are building, but the chart does not entail that. The chart tells a different tale. It tells a totally different story than what's actually going on in the background. So if you're not in the know, if you're not in the discord, if you're not in the telegram, if you're not keeping up with the latest tweets on the mother hub, and I'm talking about at Paul chain, the actual Twitter page, there's a lot of detailed information on that as well. Links to AMAs and all that. If you're not keeping up with that, that's by choice. That's because you don't want to. But if you're throwing shade on a project and that is any project in general in this space, and you already know what you're saying is just fun and you're just doing it just to scare the actual community, just to push people away because things didn't work out for you internally. That's a different story. And that's what I'm talking about. You see this going on with the park ecosystem. There was a lot of selling over the last couple of days, guys, because of the fear aspect, because of this being interjected into the CMC. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you already saw it. A lot of negative posting has been going on on the call market cap page that affects the project guys as you can see there was some selling and obviously there were some people that actually bought the dip and a lot of times this is welcome for a lot of people who want to get a great position into a great project a lot of people watch for this they wait for this foot sometimes the foot is intentional so people can get positioned properly i've seen this in major projects well you have intentional foot that's interjected to bring the chart down so other buyers can come in and get nice positions now i don't know what this is but i will say this because I don't want to spend too much time on this. This is far from a rug pull. This chart is telling a different tale. This is a buy and sell chart, guys. This does not dictate what's going on in the background. As you see here currently, 24 hour volume is $47,000. And mind you guys, this bear market is unprecedented. It is still going on. Now the XRP ruling did pump the actual market very well. And that was very welcome. But as you can see, there's a massive correction going back. We are going back to where it should be bear situation guys. And again, I can show you a lot of projects that are actually great projects with real development going on that look just like this. That chart looks just like this. Some of them even worse, okay? So for the Fudders, it's so easy to grab this chart, post it on their Twitter page, and talk down on a project. You can do this on a lot, but this is too easy. This is very easy ammunition for anybody to grab and to use to say something negative about Par Ecosystem, but it's not the case. So I'll leave it at that, guys. Don't let the FUD move you out of any project that you already know that's solidified, you already have the information on, you know the devs are building, it's because there's a disgruntled investor. Don't allow that particular information, trust but verify. Take the information that you're getting, whether it be positive or negative, and do the background on it, do the research on it. That way when you do pull out or you buy, it's because of what you've researched, not what somebody else has posted because they're maybe angry or they're just disgruntled or maybe it's in a legitimate situation. Just make sure you trust, but verify what you're getting that way. If it is true, what this particular individual or this group is saying, 
then you can pull out with comfort. Because I gotta tell you guys, I've been victim of this. The last thing you want to do is pull out of a project just because somebody else said something was going on the first leak. Then it ended up being fake information and the project is successful down the road. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna lose your position. And if you know what I know, and if you know what I know, most of you know that are in this platform, you've been in it from day one. You already know this is not a rug pull and you already know what you're seeing on CMC and what you're seeing on Twitter is absolutely false. Now you're looking at a market cap of around $3.5 million, guys, which is a great entry point. And it got even sweeter because of the FUD that was interjected. And it made a lot of people move away. Now, a lot of those guys, I think they're coming back a lot of those investors that actually moved away because of that foot they're probably realizing at this point in time that a lot of that was fictitious a lot of that it was emotionally based FUD that was put out on the CMC page on Twitter because of the sentiment, because of that particular way that that person was feeling. It is what it is, guys. Again, trust but verify. Do your own research. When you hear negative things or positive things, make sure it's true. Double down on your research and then make your move properly. Now, let's go ahead and segue to the Twitter. I want to get into this partnership. Now, this actual partnership was announced on the 20th. This is with Val Crypto Guru. Let's go ahead and go to the actual webpage of Val Crypto. This is a marketing firm this is a marketing and influencer slash situation guys this is a pretty big deal almost a million followers on this particular page here this particular group now i'm assuming this is a focus group i see a young lady on the actual banner in the picture maybe this is the lead on that but val crypto welcome to the community hand clap for that this is very very cool very cool and we talked about marketing and how it plays a big part in exposure this is the newest one that i've seen guys and i just want to reiterate this partnership because there's been a lot of marketing partnerships and this is always part of the roadmap a lot of people were like when marketing when marketing the best time to actually interject marketing is when the utilities are just about ready to be rolled out we got the aggregator we already have the actual dow that has been rolled out as well along with a front end of the wallet and we're talking about the actual peer-to-peer -peer transfer all that is out right now we were using that guys and i know personally i've been using the aggregator and it's actually been updated multiple times since the release the dow's working beautifully and we also got introduced to the actual paw club as well and what that entails going into the future this is beautiful now let's go ahead and segue to the sneak peek now a lot of people were like where's the surprise and i've seen a lot of negative tweets on this particular situation as well now if you know you know and a lot of the paw ecosystem holders especially you loyal holders you already know what you're looking at you're very excited about this seen a lot of negative tweets about this guys now let's go ahead and superimpose this this is what we're talking about this is the surprise this is the alpha snapshot of the block explorer this is a browser now just think eve scan let's go ahead and think about that deeply let that sink in eve scan the bnb scan you know when you go into it and you check these contracts you check all the projects the transactions and all that all the details on the contracts this is what we're looking at now this is a huge indicator of what's going on with the paw chain the development process now personally i think they're ahead of schedule with the paw chain i think we're really going to see this slightly ahead of schedule and i'm talking about the alpha lunch because when i look at this browser guys i'm seeing activity I'm seeing a chain that's in this alpha stages that is actually functioning and we're seeing some block times. We're seeing some actual block average times, which is five seconds here, three wallets attached. They're actually testing this chain. They're actually cranking up the engine and seeing if it's actually running properly. This was very welcome. And when I saw this, I got very excited because when I look at this, guys, if you don't know what you're looking at, you should be very excited. I see an actual L2 that has actually been cranked up and it is running smoothly. And this is a beautiful situation. Hand clap for this, guys. Yes, this is very cool. And again, guys, I just want to reiterate that. When they dropped this snapshot, I really got excited. This is an actual look at the actual Paw Chain browser, the Block Explorer, guys. Next, you can see right up top here where it says find address, token symbol, name, transaction, hashes, things of that nature. This is an Explorer, guys. This is a gateway into what's going on within the Paw Chain. And as we conclude this whole situation, guys, I have to tell you the team is working very hard, as you can see on the snapshot. And I believe, personally, the Paw Chain is ahead of schedule these guys are working very hard on multiple aspects of this project and if you're still thinking this is a rug pull if you're still thinking that FUD is going to stop this particular titanic of an ecosystem you better think again because i don't think any amount of FUD is going to stop this team from completing the agenda let me know what you think about with the report have a great day we'll see you in the next video